we're going to look at how heat affects volume. I'm adding some boiling water to this beaker. Put a whole bunch of very hot water in there. It is hot because the average kinetic energy of those particles is very fast. Now, I have a pop bottle with a balloon on top. I'm going to place it inside here and we're going to observe what's going to happen to the balloon. As you see very quickly, that balloon seems to inflate and it's quite firm. It, uh, it seems to be very full of air. But how could that be possible? We didn't add any air to this. I didn't blow into it at all. Well, it's got to have something to do with that hot water. Well, all the particles are moving very, very quickly here. So they're bumping into the plastic. And that plastic uh, that warms up and then it warms the air inside. So we have some conduction occurring here because there's direct physical contact. Now some people think it inflates because of convection. The hot air rises, fills the balloon, and there we go. It's convection. The hot air goes up, cool air goes down. It's a cycle. But that's not entirely it. Uh, as you heat the air inside, the particles get excited, they move faster, they hit each other harder, and they separate, they move farther apart. So the volume of air inside this bottle has uh, increased. It's gotten more. We haven't added air, but the space between the particles has gotten greater. So it needs a place to go. It'll just fill up this balloon because pressure is caused by moving particles. Now let's see what happens when I take this balloon out it loses its heat source, put it just beside there. Now the particles will begin to cool down. They won't hit each other as hard and they will begin to go closer together. The volume of air will decrease as it, as it goes. So as you can see, as the air cools down, the volume of air decreases and that balloon deflates.